Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 352. That is, what is domain testing? Let me answer. So what is domain testing? Domain testing is performed on the applications with a minimum selected number of inputs for testing the output of the system and for also verifying that the application doesn't accept any invalid inputs. What does it mean? You see, there's an application. Okay, if you are very good at domain knowledge of the application, okay, if it is a banking application, let's say, and you have very good domain knowledge skills. So what you can do with the domain knowledge, you can select minimum number of inputs. Okay, you see, unlike uh, the other person who doesn't have proper domain knowledge of the application. Okay, since you are an expert in the domain of banking domain of the application, for example. So what you can do is, okay, for testing that application, okay, Instead of selecting a huge list of inputs, you are selecting minimum number of important inputs and testing the system to see if it is working fine or not, if it is giving a proper output or not. And also for invalid inputs, whether the application is giving proper errors or not. Okay. So that kind of testing to find the defects with valid inputs, valid output should come. Invalid inputs, okay, your application should act properly with proper warning messages and all. That kind of testing, which is uh, dealt with the type of inputs, minimum number of selected inputs for getting the proper outputs, that may be valid inputs or invalid inputs, is known as domain testing, guys. The people who are good at domain knowledge of that particular application can do this process very well. Okay, that's why the name has come it as come uh, given to it as domain testing. Okay, where minimum number of selected inputs are selected for testing the application. Okay, these inputs can be valid or invalid. For valid inputs, valid input, valid uh, output should come. For invalid inputs, proper uh, application should respond properly in proper warning messages or error messages. Okay. So hope guys you understood what is domain testing in this session. So that's all for this session. The next session I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.